Hi, good day, good night, good evening, depending on what time you happen to be watching this. Welcome to another episode of House of Stars. I'm your girl, Star. And today, as you can see from the title, I'm reading on Brad Pitt and Angelina. I know a few days have passed and maybe some people may think that I'm a little bit late on this, but uh, I don't know. I just said when I saw it going down, I was like, okay, I'm going to read on this situation because I know a lot of people want to know what's really going on between them both. And I'm a huge, or I once was, like I'm not saying that I'm not anymore, but I once was a huge Angelina fan. Like she was my girl crush. I thought she was gorgeous and she still is, but yeah. Um, so a couple things, a couple announcements at the House of Stars. To all my new subscribers, I've seen again a few um, new subscribers over the time since the last video, and I wanna welcome you to my channel. Um, one thing I want to start, I wanted to start Astar. Now, don't get this confused with other the Astar episodes I've done before, where I would ask answer one psychic question for somebody. I want to do it a little bit different. So, um, I'm a person I find that, um, aside from giving readings, I think that I'm a person that is pretty good at giving advice. So, um, if you have any situations that are going on right now and you want advice on it, and this is not like a psychic question, this is just a purely earthly base, my opinion, you know, from my human self on uh, what I think you should do best in that situation, uh, please uh, email me on my House of Stars Facebook page and send me a message, one question, explain the situation that you are going through. Um, keep in mind that I will be reading your, your uh, post and your question, but I will keep everyone's name anonymous and I will not be sharing who it is that's asking the question. Um, and within that episode, I will be, um, what you call it? in that episode, that's why I'll be able to tell you exactly, you know, give you your advice on your questions and stuff. So again, just hit up the House of Stars page on Facebook with your question. This is just to give basic advice, you know, whether it's like, you know, my boyfriend is doing this or I have a friend that's doing that. This has nothing to do with asking a psychic question at all. Um, as well, if anyone's interested in me reading like a, a celebrity or anything, um, just message me on my House of Stars page on the comment in the comment box instead of sending it through email or messenger. Just for the simple fact that I usually keep those messages in that in that area strictly for business alone. Um, and next announcement that I do have is that if you are in the Toronto area, it is the fall season. Fall is my season. I'm very backwards. I usually like to get out when it's more colder and it's fall time. I guess it's because my birthday is around fall, but I'm starting to do parties. So if you have a party that you want to do or you want me to host and do readings for people, um, my minimum is four people at a time. Um, so anywhere between four to 10 people, uh, depending on the night, we'll, we'll obviously discuss the details um, a little bit further, but all the information is below. If you would like to hire me for a party, you can hit me up on my House of Stars page, or you can hit me up on my Facebook page. I would like to, I probably am going to expand with that. Um, maybe like, you know, once I get my whole Skype situation all fixed as people know this, try to hide Skype with me, how that kind of goes. So uh, once I get that situation all fixed out, then maybe I will try to be may maybe a virtual party I'll do or something like that. So, you know, it'll be a fun experience for everybody. Um, but for now, I'm only going to be servicing, of course, the Toronto the GTA, GTA area. So again, all the information is going to be below. So if you want uh, if you need any advice for Ask Star, or if you want to book me for a party, all the information will be in the description box. So let's move right along because I just took four minutes just to talk about that. Um, we're going to move right into the reading. So I think how I'm going to do this is that I'm going to pick up on Brad and what I see around Brad, and then I'm going to pick up what's going on around Angelina, and then I'm going to bring them together and how they worked within a relationship. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. Let's start off with Brad Pitt first. Still as handsome as ever. Okay. So we have Brad Pitt here, born December 18, 1963, and he's born in Shawnee, Oklahoma. So let me just bring up his picture here. Uh, let's see which one uh, resonates with me the most. Okay. I'll go with this one. Okay, so I was waiting for that to load. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to connect to the energies um, and ground myself with my guides, and I will tap into Brad Pitt.
Okay. So what I see about Brad Pitt, I feel like overall, like he's a very, he has a sense of shyness to him. Um, I think that he could be shy at times when it comes to interacting with people, but he's very open into meeting different people from all different kinds of walks of life. I get the sense it's like he does come from a good family background. Um, I feel like he's a person that he's very homely with people. He almost has that like small town vibe, even though he's like, you know, a celebrity and been, you know, traveled the world and been, um, met different people. People, he still carries that like wholesome like back home style and how he deals with things I get the sense when it comes to the whole situation with um, Jennifer Aniston don't, I, like I feel like he does feel bad how things ended and how it was because I do feel even though the relationship was not going good he did have a great deal of respect for her I get the sense with this guy he's not a kind of person that um if he were to end a situation with you, if it was up to him and you still would like to open the door to invite him in to be either a friend or, you know, later down in the road, maybe be, even be somewhat of a lover. He's the kind of person that he doesn't close the door on people. Um, it's like even if he has a problem with you, like he will still rekindle and go back to where it was and how you guys were before. Um, I do feel like he does have a great sense of um, respect and ideal when it comes to his family that he does have with Angelina. I feel like that is his pride and joy, you know what I mean, is um, the children that he has and being a father. But I do feel like he's also the person that likes to do his own thing and stay to himself. So even though he does have a family life, I feel like he's a person that kind of compartments like keeps his life in different compartments. So uh, what I do see with him is that because I think that he can be a little bit open sometimes, and I'm not going to say naive, but he puts himself in situations where um, he could have easily avoided them. Like it's like, this is like, this is why it's open for him to be a person that could cheat. You know what I mean? Um, because he's just an open person. He's just like an open book. Like he will open himself to anybody. You know what I mean? Of course, there's obviously, you know, certain celebrities do have their standards of, you know, how much they reveal or how much they open themselves to people. But at the same time, um, if he's in a comfortable surrounding with you and he feels like he can trust you, um, he doesn't necessarily open up himself when it comes to his, um, personal life, but he's open to letting you into his, his world himself. Um, I do feel with him right now is what's going on around him. I don't know. I get some directing stuff that's happening with him. I don't know if it's like he's working on a project where he wants to direct. Um, I feel like it's something that he may act in, but I feel like he wants to get on a page where he wants to work behind the scenes and kind of breed young actors or not necessarily young actors, but actors that um, are just coming into scene or actors that have it don't really have a strong sense um, or a strong footing in the acting scene that he kind of wants to bring them to the forefront and work with them. Um, And I feel like when it comes to that, he's working with a male, like an older male that he's working with. I feel like the director is obviously uh, somebody that is uh, reputable in the industry on the directing side. Um, I do feel like when it comes to his children, um, I get the sense that um, when it comes to the whole family situation, I don't think he wants to really split everyone up, but I do feel like he does want to have custody of some of the children for himself. And it's like whether, the, like, you know, say, I believe they have what five kids so if it's five kids like have at least two of them live with him or three of them live with him and then the rest live with angelina but at the same time he still wants to be able to be at a place where they could get along um i think right now what's happening between him and angelina of course they're not getting along and they haven't been getting along for a while um i get the sense that angelina is a person that's really hard to deal with um and i think a lot of things that people don't really understand is that angelina does suffer from um very severe depression you know what i mean um so a lot of times in, throughout the relationship like it was good in the starting but it, it got to a point where it was like she was closing herself off and they were all they were living two different lives like i feel like this relationship even though it's coming to a divorce in the head now it was probably looking like that it was probably they were going through that heading for the rocks for some years now you know what I mean? I just think that they find a, they found a way to kind of give each other each other space um, so that they can obviously be parents to the children and, and the whole dynamic of what they had. Because I feel like both of them didn't really want to be so quick to get into divorce and doing anything like that. But um, I guess it's come to the point now where things have just got too hectic. 
and let's move on. I also do feel like they are people that are kind of open to having like open relationships. But what I get is with with Brad in a situation in the relationship dynamics that they had, um, one of the relationships got a little bit more serious than anticipated, and this is why this is a big blow up and what's happening right now. Um, but I think overall with Brad Pitt, I do, I just think that he is a nice guy, but I do feel after a while, he is a person that he, um, needs to be constantly stimulated. And once he feels that he's not being stimulated, then that's when he starts to wander and move on into himself. But at the same time, I think the downfall for him is that he needs to bring people into his life as a whole. Like if you're in a relationship with somebody, somebody shouldn't only be a part of an aspect of your life. They should be a part of your whole entire life you know what i mean and i think that's where it's kind of been hard but i'm not gonna always i'm not gonna only put it on brad because i do also feel like angelina was a hard person to be with um because i do think that sometimes she could be a little bit meticulous a little bit overworked and stressed and sometimes she could become a little bit detached um and this is what caused the relationship dynamic to go in the fashion that it did so that's what i do see for brad let's move into what i see for angelina so it's Angelina Jolie is June 4th, 1975. So that means she's born under the sun sign of Gemini. Um, and she's born in Los Angeles, California. Let me just pull up a picture of her. Oh, she's just so beautiful. I just think she needs to put on some more weight. I hey, I'm not I I'm not a skinny girl hater. Um, but I just feel like because she lost some weight, it's just kind of aged her a bit. Like, if she gained a little, like, 10 pounds more, she wouldn't look so aged. But she's still beautiful nonetheless. Like, you can't deny that. Okay, so let's see. Angelina born June 4th, 19... What did I say? Oops. Angelina, her biggest issue with herself is that a lot of people and a lot of the people she's been with have a hard time understanding her. So I feel like she feels within herself, she's always censoring herself and how she's being perceived. Um, I don't think it's one of those things where she's a person that's so quick to explain herself, but she's definitely a person that's very quick to um, assume that you don't understand where she's coming from or don't understand where um, what she's been through. I feel like she's a person, she has a lot of triggers. So uh, when I say somebody has a lot of triggers, like she has, it's almost like she suffers from a mild case of like PTSD. Um, I don't know if it has to do with her childhood. Um, I feel like it's more or less towards her childhood. And there could be a lot of things that Angelina has gone through that, you know, have not been made public, even though she's been in the public eye since she was young. Um, but she has a lot of triggers. So there's certain things you do or even certain things that you say that it causes an effect. You know what I mean? Um, as everyone knows, she's she's a true and through and true um, humanitarian. I feel like she's a person, she's all about children. She's all about helping children, saving children, especially most of all, she wants to be able to provide a life where children can be children. Um, and that's a big thing. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people that want to provide and help children out, but I think the reason why in turn, why she likes to work with children and she wants to give people, the children that chance to be children is because I don't think she ever really felt she got a chance to be a child. Um, I think that she was a person that was far advanced, even from a young age. There was a lot of things that she was very aware of what was going on around her from a young age. Um, and she just feels that, you know, that she needs to maintain that youth within children just to be herself because she wasn't allowed that. She just had to grow up really fast. And I don't think she really got to deal with or even understand what she's gone through as a person until she got really deep into her adulthood. I would say after um, her late 20s, early 30s, that's when she was dealing with all most of the stuff that she's been through. 
Um, I feel like when it comes to Brad, it's like she never really felt, there was a point where she never really felt close to Brad. Like she felt like she didn't really know him. You know what I mean? Like she knew him, but she couldn't get, like it's like she couldn't feel his soul. And she's the kind of person that she needs to have that sense of closeness to somebody where she feels them on a deep level. Like we're close, we're tight knit, like we are connected. Um, I think the reason why they would actually buck heads is because when it comes to her emotions, they speak a different language, okay? Um, when it comes to Brad, it's like Brad is more or less a person that it's kind of like what you see is what you get. You deal with a situation where it's like when it comes to Angelina, Angelina would lash out because of a certain emotion or something that he did, which is goes back to what I said, the trigger. And he wouldn't necessarily understand what caused her to act a certain way towards him. Um, when I said that she deals with a depression, I feel like she's like a person that is like a functioning depressed person. It's like maybe she's not, I don't think she's really sits at home and, you know, sulks to herself, but she's a functioning depressed person. Like she does live within a lower energy vibration at times. And I'm not saying this, that she's a low energy person. Like she's like, she's not a good person or whatever the case may be. I'm just saying that her energy is usually low. It's like, she's one of those people that has to start her morning and she wakes up feeling like shit about herself and thinking about what she's gone through. And it's like, she has to build up herself again in order to like move forward and, and, and go on with her day. Um, and I think the reason why she actually deals with that because, um, she is like, she is gifted, um, in ways. Um, she's actually a healer. Um, I do feel with her as well. Like she's very connected to energy. So she's one of those people that she, you could just be around her and she just knows you're lying or she just knows she can feel faintness and that feels uncomfortable for her. And I think after a while when she was with Brad, um, that's what she would feel. She could just feel the deceit or the dishonesty off of him. You know what I mean? Um, cause I feel like there was times where he would just leave and go do his own thing. And it's like, when he comes home, it's like, she's just kind of, Hmm, something's up. You know what I mean? Um, but like, again, I feel like this relationship has kind of been on the rocks for a much longer than the public has allowed, um, or, or they, what they have allowed the public to see. Um, again, what I feel is I get the sense that when it comes to this relationship, there is going to be some stuff that's going to be talked about when it comes to her mental issues. And also when it comes to her parenting, I feel like she's a very good mother, but at the same time to each his own of what they would like to th think they would like to judge her parenting. Um, but I just feel like she does deep down through and through love for her children. Um, but I think that during her time of her having her children, there was a lot of healing that had to happen within herself. So depending on who was watching and who was looking, you know, they can judge that against her character and, you know, the way she took care of her children. But I do feel some of that is coming up. I do get the sense that she is going to go on a show and she's going to talk about, I just heard Ivana like fix my life. I don't know if she's going to go on that, but I get like a something of that nature where she is discussing her life and what she needs to work on. But I think that that's going to come up a little bit more. It's kind of like her mental state. That's what people are going to talk about. I'm not going to say she's a nut. I'm not going to make it put out there that, but I just feel like she has some deep issues she wants to deal with. And within herself, she really knows she, she needs to be alone. Like, I think even if you hear that she's dating anybody else, it's like, it's not serious. It's like, okay, she's going out for dinner with them or something. But I feel like where she is in her life right now, she really does want to be alone. Like she wants to be alone to work on herself and build herself and refocus her energy where it needs to be focused. Um, and a lot of her energy needs to be focused on her and her children. But most of all, it needs to be focused on herself. Um, and I'm not saying focus on herself is neglecting her children, but she really needs to focus on herself in order for her to make it to the next step so that she can be that person and give the energy, um, and the level of energy and, um, and, um, effort that she wants to give without feeling depleted, um, is what she needs to work on. Um, let's see, now I'm going to pull up a picture of them together. I feel like when they started out in a relationship, it was really good. And I feel it was really good because I think they both, I feel like Brad was a confidant uh, for Angelina. I feel like she 
would talk to him a lot about what she's been through because I feel like Angelina is a person that she's very expressive. Um, even though she has a hard time, I, like she is expressive, but she's not expressive with her triggers. Um, but I feel like that they had a really good relationship because emotionally they were there to be able to take care of each other. Um, even though I do feel like the relationship also had like a very strong sexual side to it. Most of all, I feel like they really connected at this time because they wanted the same things in life. Um, but after a while, it's like um, once what they wanted was fulfilled, it's like they started to drift apart. Um, again, I just feel like when it came to Brad, I felt it started that Brad was spending a lot of time catering to Angelina and her needs. Um, but then it got to a point where he just got fed up. And it's not like it's like fed up, like he got fed up with her in an angry way. It was more or less like there's only so much energy that I could put in this. And then life shifts and then he's doing his own thing. Um, he still loves her. He still loves her. I feel like there's more anger coming from her side. Um, and resent coming from her side, but he still loves her. He still does care for her. Um, one thing I can say about Brad, Brad has a very huge conscience. Um, I'm, it's very rare that I feel like this man would do things to anybody and that if he upset at anyone and not feel bad about it. You know what I mean? I think that even he has a strong conscience. Um, but I do feel like, you know, over time when the smoke clears, I feel like they're going to be able to cooperate. But right now, it's kind of like Angelina doesn't even want to see him or be around him. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just that much resent and hurt and burn that's within her um, that she's not able to even face him. She just feels completely, completely betrayed. And I feel it's because also she's put, you know, and it comes from the beginning of the relationship where most of the, the foundation of the relationship that she had is that she put a lot of confidence in this man uh not just for a relationship purpose but she bared her soul to him but she bared her soul to him but it's not like she allowed herself to even really open up to feel his soul um so that's where after a while when you know time went on was where she felt like she had a hard time getting into his world you know there was only so much that was there for her to see um but it's unfortunate, but I do feel like eventually in the future that these two people are going to be able to work it out. I get the sense that uh, Brad, where I don't know where they're living now, but I feel like he's going to move out of state um, is what I'm getting there. Um, I do see Angelina getting more consumed with traveling and doing her humanitarian work um, and things like that. But also I do feel like she's going to, there's some kind of project that's coming up for her as well that she's going to be working on. And then, okay, of course I see Brad's working on the project that he's going to be working on. Um, so that's it. That's what I do see about Angelina and Brad Pitt. I do wish them both the best. And, um, it's unfortunate cause I really loved, I really like this couple a lot. Um, next to, you know, Will and Jada, they were one of my favorite couples. So that's it. Again, um, I want, this is uh, the reading. Uh, again, if you would like to get a reading with me, you know where to hit me up. If you need any advice or you know somebody that needs advice, or if you want to have advice, you want to get some advice for your friend and you want to stay completely anonymous and you want me to give you advice, hit me up on my House of Stars Facebook page. The link is going to be in the description box. Again, if you are in the Toronto area and you're looking to have a psychic party with me, a night with me uh, where we will do readings, um, I on my page, there's obviously a list of different readings that I do and things like that we can do that um you can hit me up on my house of stars page or my email address for inquiries so I do want to thank you so much for your time and also thank you and welcome to new subscribers and party with me if you like this video you can share subscribe and comment um so yeah I do want to thank you so much for your time and rocking with me may God bless you and the angels protect you good night